Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is Tuesday, the third day of July, 2012, approximately 11.30 in Honolulu, 5.30 in New York City. And this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. And oh, what a day we are having. Strong double digit upside moves in both gold and silver today are really the best way to characterize the price move that we're currently witnessing. Closed for the morning session, up 1980, 1.24% in gold. As you can see, 16, 16, 25. That is going to be the bid, and 16, 17 is the ask. Silver, as you can see, a 2.8% percent gain and that's following a five percent gain that we saw the other day up 77 cents at 28.39 and 28.29 bid ask spread my current screen is showing 28.15 on the close traders i wanted to start off this special report today Looking at a daily chart, this is cash gold, Henkin Ashi format. If you recall, yesterday we talked about a couple of key areas that we felt if the market continues to move up, we should look for potential resistance points at those particular landmarks, so to speak. Now, I am certainly surprised that we have seen this market travel higher so quickly, but the news out is Thursday there is a European Union Central Bank meeting and the belief is to kickstart the EU's economy there will probably be some sort of monetary easing policy addressed discussed or at least begun in terms of the implementation from Thursday's meeting that is the premium that we're seeing get factored into the market if in fact we see that result meaning that the European Central Banks in fact do have a monetary easing strategy, then I think we're going to see the market, which has already factored this move, pretty much be flat to run a little bit higher. If there is no announcement, I think we'll see the premium come out. Can't tell what the future is going to bring, but I can tell you that I do believe we will probably see that sort of a reaction. We are looking at a very short-term chart. This is August Gold off of the COMEX and it is in straight Henkin Ashi format, you can really see the kind of rally we've witnessed, of course, right in here. This is our resistance area, 1635. You can see that the market trades lower. This is back on the 22nd of last month, of course. It forms a base right in the area of 1660, and trades between that and call it 1690 that's the range here before making a new low testing roughly the 1650 area again this is august gold off of the comex but from there on out you can see this dynamic rally that we had over the last few trading days so beginning really on the 29th nighttime session the 28th you can see the market begins to take off we actually looked at the market in terms of a signal itself roughly at 1570 1568 and what you can see when we look at the chart in this way is this was really part of the compelling evidence that really triggered that buy signal was this nice henkin ashi rally in terms of green candles nice body size absence of lower wick so we entered the trade, as I said, roughly 1570, 1568. The market continues to move higher, finds its first, call it real psychological level of resistance at about 1600. This is 1600 right in here. Let me try to line that up straight. And as you can see, it tests it. First occasion. This is simply called a scouting party. This term was labeled by Steve Nissan. And in essence, what happens is when the markets are moving, making new highs, not contract highs, but new highs relative to where it's been trading, the bulls are really testing the fortitude of the bears here. Some selling comes in. You can see that we get real good support right around 1590 once again. And then we have this real solid breakout 
to the upside and we found a little bit of resistance once again right here at about 1625 and you can see on the short term candlestick Henkinashis, we have gone red again so we might see the market actually retrace a little bit from here now where would it retrace if in fact that happened all i have done is simply added a fibonacci retracement sequence very very short term as you can see i will line it up a little bit better but it starts down here at the bottom roughly in the 16 excuse me 1550 area up to about 1625 a 23 percent retracement if in fact the market does begin to retrace at all will take you back just above 1600 1608 1595 that is the 38 percent retracement and oddly enough you get all of this congestion right here precisely at that 38 percent level that's why i find fibonacci so fascinating now traders if by chance we do in fact get some sort of a pullback and let me line these up so we can get a little bit more precise on our pricing but if by chance we do get a pullback i would look to add a second leg to that position roughly at around 1600 see how it reacts there and then also just below 1600 1595 in other words it would not surprise me on a minor count if we were looking at a marketplace that in essence gave us a five count or a three count one two this would be our third fourth and then a final fifth wave up on the minor count so for traders that have been waiting to enter this market who haven't entered yet we'll look for a pullback for that for those that are sitting long on our current position what we will look for is to simply add to that position traders lastly let's take a look at the silver market incredible upside burst has been witnessed over the last couple of trading days let's go ahead daily chart straight candlestick format first we'll go ahead and just blow that up you can see this kind of a dynamic move that we had i believe a five percent gain almost a three percent gain on today's trading and also when we convert this daily chart into our hank and ashi we are really seeing some very clear-cut signals in terms of how this last corrective period kind of concluded and this rally began for those of you who have been with me for quite some time you know i go over this almost on a consistent basis because it does seem to have some strong validity and that is as a market trades lower on the Henkinashis, as long as the trend is pretty strong you get a large body size and increasing body size you also begin to get an absence of these upper wicks now what does that mean what a Henkinashi chart does is it takes the open and the open is actually fixed from the prior session in this case the prior days midpoint so what the lack of tail simply says mathematically is the marketplace as it moved down never traded above or at the midpoint in the same way when the markets begin to move up we look for one large body size and the absence of lower wicks because the lower wicks are telling us that the market never went below the midpoint of the prior day so we've got that also and lastly you can see this pivotal doji candle right in the apex or the v-shape the bottom of that v-shape as the market begins to move back up that is our consolidating and pivotal point or pivot candle on a hankinashi traders for those of you in the mainland have a great fourth of july for those around the world we all have a reason to celebrate freedom this has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you after Independence Day, July 5th, 2012.